We've got Mike from Nova Caravans. Maka, you were sitting in with him this morning for the time trials. How do you reckon he's going to go? Well, he's got a slippery grip on the truth there, Mike. He told me he had zero experience on the dirt, but I found out later on he goes all right. So we'll see what he's got to tell Dave in the way of stories. Dave from Club 4x4 Insurance, how do you reckon he's going to tackle the track? Pretty quick around that speedway, and it gets a little bit rougher as we go around this tough tested track here at Love Day 4x4 Adventure Park. So I've got my pace notes together, and we'll see how different drivers go. But Mike, you ready to rip in? I'm um, keen for a crack, that's for sure. Well, if you're keen for a crack, why don't you get out there, shake it, rattle it, but uh, make sure you don't roll it. Come <laughs> on, we're going to watch from the sideline. You have a bit of fun in the car. Have yeah. fun. So, Mike from Nova Caravans, we're here at the start of the Club 4x4 Insurance Tough Tested Track. You ready to get into it? Absolutely, let's give it a crack. Your time starts now. Righto, Maggie, here we go. Mike in the Nova Bravo Signature. Nice rig. Single axle should handle pretty well out there, but it is day five. The track's getting a bit cut up. What do you reckon? Well, I reckon Mike is a cool, calm, collected character. And the single axle, like you said, through those obstacles, more particularly around the wombat holes and the moguls Ooh. as well, they will dance a bit. So a little bit more control he's going to need in the car, but he's got Dave in there looking after him. I think he'll be absolutely fine. I agree, the track is getting cut up. There's some of those corners are starting to get a bit bouncy. It may get a bit of dance about it in there, so it'll be worth watching. Could be fun. A bit of Swan Lake, maybe. <laughs> yeah. This is the start of their trophy truck course for the Love Day 350. Heading towards the Sandy Mogul section, that's been a bit of fun. It's all about finding the rhythm between the tow car and the trailer, and you know, not taking too much pace so you don't load the suspension up on the other side. But I reckon you got this. Oh, I hope so, mate. <laughs> I heard you had a bit of a theory behind bringing the smaller van along. Uh, yeah, it's wider. <laughs> yeah, nice one. Ooh, smooth operator. Smooth operator, my word. So how does the semi-off-road Nova differ from the full off-road? Uh, so these are, it's got the Alco Enduro Independent, where the Terra Sport full off-road is a Cruise Master airbag electric hydraulic disc. Interesting. Yeah, that's a mouthful. <laughs> so Mike, you've gone through the first section of rough road driving and now we're heading down to the low speed obstacles, starting off with the caravan graveyard. How are you feeling about that? Uh, yeah, a bit daunting uh, being called caravan graveyard, but I'm looking forward to it. Alright, we're just about to turn into the caravan graveyard and a good idea with anything like this that has an up and ramp over is just to eyeball where you're going before your nose is in the air and we come up and over and just follow those tyre tracks through. Oh. Easy done. That theory about the lighter caravan really worked out, didn't it? Absolutely. Bit of momentum in, then back off and chase the wave out with a bit of a gap. That is picture perfect. Really nicely done. So Mike nailed the caravan graveyard and the water crossing. We're now onto the wombat holes. So this semi off-road suspension, this is gonna be a really good workout for it, right? Yeah, absolutely. There we go. Flex the car up pretty good. Now we'll get the caravan through. Absolutely. Looks like she's traveling well. All the speedways up next. Don't mind me a bit of speedway. Hey, get your backside crack side, love. <laughs> now we're up to the high speed section. Feeling a bit nervous or you reckon you got it? Nah, a bit nervous, bud. A bit nervous, yeah. Let's see how this thing goes. I was just about to say the wind's picked up, but so is the speed. All right, though we do have a nice, fun banked corner in there. If you <laughs> nice. feel comfortable with it, it's um, it's a really unique experience doing it with a trailer on the back. Yeah. So the outside line through these corners is the smoother stuff. So avoiding that inside rocky bit, nicely done. Now 
Now this is the really exciting one. If you're comfortable, get your left wheel up on that high berm there and it'll really tip the car in. It's good fun. Oh, hot into the corner there. I could absolutely watch things like that all day, Jess. Yep. Like, how good was that? <laughs> that was awesome. We've got a pretty good spot here. It's a ripper spot. Good we haven't view. even got to leave sit under the shelter all day. <laughs> so, Mike, you've done the low speed, you've done the high speed. We're heading around to the last section now. I know you're looking to validate this semi off road suspension setup in the Nova. How do you reckon it's gone? I reckon it's actually performed very well. So underneath there's a difference with the semi off-road versus off-road. Is there anything different in the interior or the rest of the fit-out? Uh, they, they are extra braced in the, in the walls and the, obviously the cabinetry, yes. You'll see as we come around, we'll get into it from here. And um, there's a hill climb we're going up to the top of that hill where you can see the road going off to the right there. There's a choice of going the right-hand line that's a little bit easier, but you get a 15-second penalty. Watch out for this little bump here. Or you can go the left-hand line as we go up the hill. It's a little bit tougher, but you save yourself 15 seconds. It's entirely up to you, but we haven't seen anyone take the penalty yet. So it's your call. Well, if no one else has done it, I'm gonna do it. I reckon you got <laughs> it, mate. Follow this around to the right. You can see the cones up there for yep. the right or the left line. The left one is the tougher one. So right around here, up the left line here stick far left and it's a little bit smoother than going through the middle. We're racing to the finish, here we go. Nice and smooth, good wheel speed control up there. So around the back of this tree and finishing between the flags. Beautiful, pull up between the flags. And we did it. You, How made, good's that? you made it through the Club 404 Insurance tough tested track. How'd you feel about it? Excellent. Really good. Really good. I'm glad we stopped. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big view there. You don't want to go over that hill climb.